what do you get when you cross badminton, ping pong, and tennis? The fastest growing sport in America, pickleball. This is the first time I'm ever watching the game of pickleball and I am so late to this party. Embarrassing. The popularity of pickleball spiked during the COVID-19 pandemic. And since then, it's exploded even more, turning the heads of some high profile athletes and investors. But with all that growth also comes growing pains. When so many people entered the sport that the, it was going on for 10 and 12 hours a day, and that's where the sound problems really started to emerge. So what does it cost to be America's fastest growing sport? Did you catch that? And why isn't everyone buying in? The first game of pickleball was actually played on a backyard badminton court in 1965. Today, there are roughly 10,000 known places to play pickleball in America. The states with the most locations, California and Florida. I play about three or four days a week in Florida. Here in Pittsburgh, I don't have enough courts. I hope to play this afternoon though. I think I have 5.30 match. Meet Bob Unitish, a retired professor of engineering, a USA pickleball ref, and the founder of Pickleball Sound Mitigation, LLC. More on that last one later. Between 2021 and 2022, the number of picklers in the U.S. doubled, with nearly 9 million people playing the game regularly. And in total, more people played pickleball than basketball, golf, and tennis. So why is pickleball so popular? You're always playing with, uh, with new people. The barrier to entry of the sport is so low. It doesn't matter the age. I mean, everybody gets along. Even though as a former professional tennis player, totally addicted. I've gone to the dark side. Today, I'm in the other pickleball hotspot of the country, California. More specifically, Newport Beach where the Association of Pickleball Players, known as the APP, is hosting its largest professional tournament ever. There are more than 1,400 players at this tournament. Pros, amateurs, family, friends are here, and then there's me. I grew up not far from these courts when they were just tennis courts. But developers in Orange County and around the world are becoming increasingly aware of the economic value of pickleball. In Florida, investors have poured close to $200 million into 15 private indoor pickleball clubs. And entertainment venues combining food and sport are on the rise. Chicken and Pickle plans to open seven new locations in 2023 and 2024. I think people are thinking this is worth betting on. This could grow to be a major sport. It could have major ad advertising revenue in time. For a professional sport that's not even three years old, Major League Pickleball is already backed by a Fortune 500 company. Anheuser Busch purchased its own team for an undisclosed but estimated seven figures. This year, 16 pro teams will compete in six tournaments nationwide for more than $2 million in cash prizes. For context, that's roughly the same amount awarded to professional cyclists in the Tour de France, a race that's been around for more than a century. This is so much more intense than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, I understand why people love this sport. But pickleball is also in a pickle because of this. The sound of the ball hitting the paddle AKA the quok. Okay, that quok sound is loud, but it kind of adds to the energy of the sport. Like I see why in the moment it makes it more exciting, but I also see how it could be really, really annoying if you're not playing the game. The game naturally starts out with some physics that are fairly loud compared to other sports. So exactly how loud is pickleball? almost as loud as a vacuum cleaner, according to a study by Bob Unitish and Yale University. Plus, the Pwok has the same musical pitch as the backup alarm on a trash truck. The solution? Sound barriers like the one Bob helped design for his own community in Florida can knock off 10 to 15 decibels, but they can also cost tens of thousands of dollars. Another solution? Better paddles. 
This is our CX-14. It's all carbon fiber made. This one's, you know, makes some noise, but it's not a noisy racket. This was, I think, $230. I have a set of golf clubs and every golf club costs that much. And it lasts typically for years. And that low cost of entry, along with a low physical barrier, means pickleball could have a very long life ahead of it and a shot at becoming an Olympic sport. Pickleball fundamentally is a great way to uh, get exercise. And if you find an inexpensive way where it's fun and you think you're getting good at it, I think the growth of pickleball is unlimited. Serve us a subscribe and we'll hit you back with some business and tech content every week. And while you're at it, subscribe to our daily newsletter at thehustle.co.